What's up, everybody? What's up, Jim Drills? It is your friend, buddy, Shabazz Salye. I have a humongous surprise for you that I know you're really going to like. So, if you don't remember me, you were in my music video. It is Shabazz Salye, Princess Swag, Remix featuring Yoko Sings. I have a huge surprise that you're really going to like, but I need to explain this quick story real quick. So, I hit her up, Jim Drills. I want her in my music video. She twerked in my music video. It was X-rated. She shut it down. Like, she was beautiful, amazing, but YouTube is like, well, it is too vulgar, too violent, basically because of her ass. Like, it was breaking YouTube. So, if you understand, twerking can be very dangerous for the World Wide Web. So they took the video down multiple times. I had to re-edit it. And I'm just like, forget it. Let's find other platforms. So I found NTV, VH1. They started airing the video. When you see it on TV, they're just like, oh my God, I want to watch it on YouTube. Because it's like, oh my God, whoa, that's amazing. And shout out to all the other X-rated models that were in the video too. You helped shut it down too. But a lot of people love Jim Drills. So they kept trying to find the video on the internet. They couldn't find it. So what they did is they started streaming the song. And the song got like over 20 million views. You know, when you add up all the platforms and stuff together. They started requesting it on the radio. People know who she is now in Japan. Because they were just so hypnotized. It's like the Akon song and the Ply song. You know, you got me hypnotized. And, 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 and because the song was so amazing... You know, I got a gift for you. So I hope you're still watching this. You're really going to love this surprise. You're really going to love it. Now, if I didn't mention this already, my attorney's got the video put back up recently. Okay, it's put back up. It's just that I can't promote it because of the fact that it's too vulgar. So you know how on YouTube people get paid for the videos and stuff. I'm demonetized for that video. I can't get paid. I can't promote that video on YouTube. So if you want to watch the video, guys, it's back up on YouTube. You got to organically go watch the video. Now, this is the surprise for you. So I hope you're still watching this. If you didn't know, I'm on this website, AlieveShoes.com. I partner with them and I make shoes. So this is my shoe brand. It's called Laguchi. L-U-G-U-C-H-E-E.com. That's how you can go buy shoes on my site so i'm just scrolling down to look at the cool shoes real quick you don't have to buy my shoes but i got a surprise for you so these are my shoes people bozzy baby freedom of the land Laguchi. check this out you have your own shoe i created your own shoe for you as a token so what happens is i can send this to a PO box you have or a leave says that they can release it for sale and you can buy it off the site. It's just like if you buy a shoe from Nike.com. I will never know your address. It's just, you know, third party people like PayPal or those other platforms that that basically makes sense. And that's another way that you can get the shoes. So let me scroll down. It has the logo of my single cover. It says Jim Drills Special Limited Edition. Right here, it says Princess Swag Remix Laguchi Jim Drills Edition. It also says that right here on the tag, which I know is kind of hard to see. But these are one of a kind shoes. Look at this. One of a kind shoes. These shoes are so spectacular that it is so amazing. Now, you have to keep watching this video because I'm like shocked by, you know, what I'm about to explain. That's in the inside of the tag. I'm going to come back so you guys can see the shoes, but check this out. The company at AlieveShoes.com left feedback and it is insane. <laughs> Look at this. I want you guys to take time real quick to read their feedback. Hello, Shabazz. Loving this design you made as well. Your branding is consistent. We love this Laguchi, a very unique story, low top indeed. Sorry, sporty low top. Indeed, looking forward to see your customer reaction. <laughs> Look at this. 
They even talk about that, you know, Dear Shabbat Asai, your passion and creativity as a musician are truly reflected in your unique shoe design. Like, look at this. They want this shoe on the market, but they have no idea, Jim, that these shoes were only made for you. So it's going to be a bummer when they can't, you know, it is what it is. I made the shoes. They're not going out for sale unless you want to buy the shoes and I will cash app you the money or only fans you the money to buy the shoes because I don't know because I know some people um, they don't have peel boxes so you know if you don't have a peel box it's fine I will send you the money and you can buy these shoes and then the leave will take it off the internet so that way no one else can buy them because it's going to be so unique that you're going to have the only pair and don't worry, we can ship you multiple pairs. If, you, if, if, like, if your pair, for whatever reason, gets messed up or damaged, don't worry. They'll make another pair just for you. But I just wanted to share this with you because thank you, thank you, thank you. 20 million streams. Oh, my God. My song was played. Because when people couldn't find the video and they saw the video on MTV, they're just like, whoa, whoa, I want this song. And they started requesting it and requesting it and requesting it. And it became so popular. So thank you. I mean this song wouldn't be nothing without the models. Because you got to understand. A lot of people do not speak Japanese language. People in Japan may speak English. But not a lot of people. So you know it's vice versa. When they saw the video. They understood that anybody could be a princess. You could be an X-rated model. You could be poor. You could be rich. It doesn't matter. Anybody could be who they want to be. And you, Jim Drew, shared that creativity with her. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not with her. With the whole entire world. And I can finally say I got in trouble because, well, I don't get in trouble. But I got in trouble because your video shut down YouTube because it was so... Um, what's that word? I don't want to say violent, but they did use violent, but I meant like um, so x-rated It's like my video Basically got compared to like Nelly's tip drill But it wasn't like if Nelly's tip drill was like a level 10 and that's like the worst pain ever Mine was at like a level maybe eight or nine. That's how crazy my video was because you got girls um, eating popsicles and other X-rated stuff that they're just like, yeah, your video is kind of crazy. We get your message, but the video is like X-rated. And um, we want to protect the young people. And I understand that. I understand that. But that's why there's a point where it says um, not rated for kids under like 18 or something like that you get my drift but i guess they're just they were worried about kids going on to their parents account and watching the video but thank you um i'm trying to look at my timestamp. this is an eight minute long video if you're still watching it you know we still got to do content you know last time i spoke to you on only fans i was like we got to do some content you know what i mean because me and you working together I mean, look what happened. 20 million streams because they were saying how you really hypnotized them like the Akon song. Like, you are a wonderful model. And they were like, oh my God, how does he know this girl? How did he get her in his video? Like, whoa, she's an amazing twerker. Now you got fans in Japan. You got more fans in America. Thank you. We really got to do content together. Like, any type of content. It doesn't matter because it's going to go viral. Like, I'm just saying, we got to do some other content together. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I know that you're a hard person to contact. So that's why I'm doing this video so I can post it to Twitter. Because it looks like you're always on Twitter. You're rarely on Instagram. You're rarely on OnlyFans. So I'm going to Twitter this video to you. If you're still watching it, thank you. People love this song. They love you in the video. It was so crazy. I had everybody just wilding out saying, this guy knows Jim Jules. He's in his video. Oh, damn, smoke. You basically made me more popular. Like, I am already, 
you know, like if I'm at a, let's, let's say my popularity could have been maybe a level 10. I'm like at a level 80 or higher now out of 100, if that makes sense. Like you are an amazing person. You know, she thanked me because I kept asking her and I was very patient. And she says, I like how you are very patient at that patient if that makes sense because I know that she was a very busy person and I asked some you know models and they said no I'm not interested but I like Jim Drills because she never gave up on me she believed in me and I thank you for that so now that the video is back on YouTube guys go promote the video go watch it it's on YouTube thank you for NTV thank you for everyone that was watching the video on NTV and uh, VH1 and all these other channels. Thank you for requesting a song on the radio. Thank you for playing in the DJ. 20 million streams. That is insane. Like, whoa, 20 million streams. Wow. That is a lot of fans that love you. And they love the song. Because a lot of people kept searching the song. And, you know, they loved the song. And they loved that you were in the video. It was just so, so amazing. You know, because I know... A lot of music artists like to ask X-rated models to be in their videos, and then the 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 music artist tries to be mean or something. I don't like that when artists do that because it puts a bad name to music artists, and that's why I was able to get a lot of X-rated models in my video because they knew that I was a nice person. I didn't come and say, "Hey, you know." Why don't we go on a date? Why don't we do this? I didn't ask for that. You know, and these other artists that do that, you got to understand. These X-rated models have a lot of fans that ask them the same questions. If you want to be their friend, just be respectful to them. Just because you are a celebrity or you're a music artist, you're not entitled to anything better than anyone else. And that's why these X-rated models loved me because they understood that I'm a nice person and I didn't ask them to do anything they didn't want to do. And I was front up with them. I said, hey, I'll pay any price for you to be in my video. And they gave me a price. And that was fair. You know, I hear stories all the time that some of these people don't even pay the models. And I'm like, I don't respect that. So I'm about to end this video. Let me know, Jim Jules. You know, if you want the shoes, these are free. They're for you. I thank you for believing in me. She's a smart person. She knows what she's talking about. And, you know, like I said, we got to do content. I'm telling you, and we're going to go viral again. We got to do more content. I like you. you. You are a true friend. All the way from Seattle to wherever you may be, because I don't know where you live. That's your personal business. But deuces. Love you.